Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Woo Bean podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the baby. Big sexy. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, coming to you live from the Insurance Max Studios, where we talking about everything, Arkansas, Razorback football, and basketball, every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Man, also, check us out on the WooPig.com. Man, experience peace of mind with Insurance Max, your one-stop solution for everything. Man, what is going on with my stream today? Every, with everything, one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. Don't wait. Call today for a free, no-obligation quote. Secure your future with insurance, Max. The ones where protection meets affordability. Dial now and safeguard what matters most. 870-534-2823. Man, the Woopick Podcast, man, we streaming on all major platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Make sure you subscribe to us on all platforms. If you enjoy the audio version only, you can switch between, you can go to Apple Podcasts, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, but we really walk with Spotify because you can switch between audio and video. Check us out over there, and you can't forget about our guys, 3M Electric, our, the OG sponsor. They're a trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor as a SDV OSB. They're dependable and reliable with no job too big or small when it comes to your electrical needs. Contact 3M Electric, 479-408-9865. Let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig Podcast. We got some technical difficulties today, but you know, as always, I got my boy G in the building. <laughs> yo, yo, they couldn't wait to get me on, baby. That's what it was. What it do, Woo Pig family? It's your boy G Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big sexy. Somebody out there holler for me. Oh. <laughs> I ain't they got ain't no even sound Oh, oh, oh there they go. Boy, hey, man. <laughs> they trying to shut us down tonight. Cause hey, we go, man, hey so, man, we running we running victory laps tonight, is what we doing. Hey, we we about to cook today, man. We finna hey. be cooking in the kitchen. Bruh. Well, as everybody know, man, everybody already know what happened. Eric Musselman, he gone. Das, he, he, didn't, he, he didn't hit the hit the streets on us. He took the bus to Cali. Mm. Das Vidanya. We ain't gonna miss you, bro. But <laughs> tonight, ladies and gentlemen, man, it's our honor to introduce a, a special guest for today's episode. Man, joining us is John Parker, the esteemed founder of Rusta Court Training. A remarkable track record of honing the skills of over 80 Division I players and nurturing the talents of nine NBA draft picks. John is a true titan in the world of basketball development. John's expertise extends far beyond the court, though. As the exclusive source of insider knowledge for the Woo Pig podcast, man, he's been dropping dimes and gems all season long, providing unparalleled insights into the world of Razorback basketball. Man, so without further ado, man, let's extend a warm welcome, John Parker of Rest of the Court Trainer. Yes, sir. What it do, JP, in the building? What's going on, guys? How are you? Man, man you looking good. real, wait, we looking real crispy, man. You came from a black barbershop today, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you said in a black barbershop today, baby, you looking crispy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You, you as well, guys. Thank you guys for having me on. It means a lot. Truly. Hey, awesome. man. 
You we man, always you, show love. We appreciate to you, bro. you, man, all season long, man. You've been you've been riding with us, man. But let me let me uh let me get to the first my first question, man. How how was your this 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 wasn't a surprise to you. No. So I want to just know what was your reaction when you when you heard the news. You know, I <clears throat> you know, I kind of been telling you guys for the last couple of months that I really felt like this was his last season here. <clears throat> and you know, he was definitely looking and so it wasn't a surprise at all actually. Well, we I know we talked about it a couple of times this year. Uh, no, actually, it was more than a couple of times. Uh, I know we had talked to you, and uh, we were we were probably some of the only ones that was willing to really put ourselves out there and 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 talk about you know Muslim and leaving and the possibilities sure. of that. And so, you know, for us, you know, it was kind of like that teeter totter. All you know for the last you know month or so of the season. It was rumors out there swirling around. So when it happened, you know, I always said <clears throat> when they asked me, I don't even really care, man. If you go, get on down. But if you're going to stay, let's buckle up and go. So, you know, it wasn't really a big shock to me, but it is what it is, man. You know, it's going to be what it's going to be. He's going to be out there in California, man, and uh, I ain't going to hold him. You know, I actually, I think <clears throat> he's going to do some great things out there, actually. You know, the guy can actually coach. You know, he's he's really good at building a program kind of from 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 the ground up and building that excitement and kind of bringing some energy. So I think that's exactly what they need there. And he definitely left the Razorback program in a better place than he found it. So we have to give him his respect on that. No question. But yeah. He, he's been looking, and I think he's been looking for years. So, you know, the Razorback program, in my opinion, is one of the top 15 programs in the country. And this is a destination job. Not mm -hmm. that. So, yep. you know, whoever comes in, I think will understand that maybe a little bit better than he did. Because this is a fantastic job. You ask any coach around the country, the Arkansas job is very, very good. Mm, yeah. Now, now, JP, why why do you think this year was such a debacle? Why why was it such a huge failure? You know, I think when you have that, you know, when you build your program a it's really anything in life. You have to find that balance and you can't just have all portal kids or kind of like how Kentucky was super, super young. You've got to find that mixture. So whenever you're dealing with the portal, it's, it's rolling the dice. You know, you're going to roll the dice with some of these kids because, you know, is it going to translate from the Atlantic 10 to the SEC? or wherever that they come from. So when you build your model on kind of exclusively on portal kids, it's a little bit of a risk. You know, you're going to have some misses and, uh, and you'll have misses with high school kids as well. But I think you got to find that perfect balance, you know, where, where you stagger the classes where you've got maybe three or four older guys, maybe one or two blue chip freshmen and then kind of fill in with some sophomores and juniors. Do you, do you think that the, uh, the talent that was brought in, um, they were, there were misses in evaluation of the talent that they, they brought to the table. Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> A, a friend of mine, and I won't mention his name, you know, Re was an ex-Division One coach, one of my closest, closest friends, uh, actually had signed David Jones, the kid that played in Memphis, Memphis this year. Yeah. And, you know, Re came to, to Muscat Spring and was like, hey, David's, you know, versatile 6'6", six, six, you know, kid, great kid, hard worker, 
has a chance to be a pro, really, really good player, had put up numbers in the Big East at St. John's. And I was thinking, this is a no-brainer. You know, like, must should be excited for this kid. Um, said he's not good enough. And I was like, what? And he just said he wasn't good enough. And, you know, OD and Greg, you can't make coaches sign guys. You know, you can only bring them to the table. So, you know, I was shocked by that. And, and I think he took the Jeremiah Davenport kid instead of David Jones. So if you look on how the year played out, that was a definite miss. Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely agree with you because he lit us up for almost 40 points in in uh, the Bahamas. Man. I, I actually called it before the game, and I said, you know, remember, Musk said you couldn't play. <laughs> a little <laughs> added incentive, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I really think must must missed a lot this time in the portal, and sometimes you do that because you really are banking on uh, a player that has been to another school, and for some reason we won't say it's because of their play or in, or, or their attitude. We don't know why these players get into the portals, especially from ones from other schools. So when you see them, the only thing you see is the tape. And, you know, in your, in your position, you watch a lot of film on kids. You don't go into the locker rooms with them. You don't get off campus with them. You don't, you know, you don't know those things. So you really don't know sometimes if you are inviting in a problem or a cancer to your locker room until they get there. And, you know, whether or not these personalities are going to mesh. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into, you know, pulling those players out of the portal and everything. So, Man, I mean, he missed. So it is what it is. You know, and, and you can miss on high school kids. Guys, Bay, Bay Fall just entered the portal mm. today. And and I told one of my friends, he may go down in history as the worst McDonald's All-American of all time. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> say, say what you said again. Say it, say it one more time. Well, I mean, if you go back to... Mm-mm. Hey, he got that janky internet. <laughs> T Mobile got him, man. <laughs> T Mobile. Hey, he was he's was to start cooking on Bay Fall. Call back in, JP. <laughs> Actually, he still. Yeah, he just froze up. He, he just, just froze, froze up. up he'll, I'm going to go ahead and kick him. And he'll die back in. But he was but yeah, about. But, to, here we go. Go ahead. He's back up. Now you're going to have to reposition him. You know how he is. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he ain't going to be still. All right. One second. But anyway, what he was about to get to get to start the cooking on was Bay Fall being arguably, and it, it ain't going to be no long argument, Bay Fall being one of the worst McDonald's All-Americans to ever grace the Golden Arches because – I mean, what all American? And I don't. And, and, and you know, let me preface it by saying there's been a whole bunch of all uh, McDonald's all Americans that I haven't actually followed. I only followed the ones that I really truly cared about, and they were all immediate impact players, right? So when Bay Fall gets on the hill, and wasn't he recruited by uh, what's his name, uh, Ronnie Brewer? Ronnie Brewer. Ronnie Brewer is responsible for that guy. He couldn't even get on the floor, man. He couldn't even get on the floor. And I didn't I, I can't even see nothing that he was doing that I could be like, man, put bamba legs out there. When he did mm -hmm. get out there, he was just all over the place. You feel me? So that was a McDonald's all American bust. OD, how how you feel about it? Man, you see the stats down there. Five games yeah. played all year long, 0 0.8 points a game, 1.3 rebounds. And everybody want to say, well, you didn't put him in the game. How you know what you got? The five games, you saw him in the, on the court, he probably That's was on the ground did. 10 times. Man, what you said? He, he, was, he was just so, so underdeveloped coming in. Mm. 
it was no way that you were going to develop him in a year. And in the article we wrote today on the, on the woopig.com, Musselman is not the guy that's going to stay around and try to develop a guy. You see what he did mm-hmm. to K.K. Robinson, Darian Ford, <clears throat> uh, Joseph Pinion. Um, who else? I'm, I know I'm, I'm missing somebody else I put in that article. Uh, it's been several guys come to the to heal under Musselman and leave well underdeveloped. Yeah. And Bayfall was no exception. Uh, Bayfall was the fourth one, so there was no exception with Bayfall. He just yeah. he fell the same fate as everybody else. And that's so, I mean, and that's something that uh, we expected. You know, I I think during the you know when we did the meet the hogs for the basketball team. You know, I think I can remember you saying, I don't know about this dude. I don't, I don't know about him. Mm-hmm. I remember, you know. So, I, I mean, we never really had a lot of, like, faith in him to begin with. But so I ain't really tripping on on him leaving. I, don't, I mean, it is what it is. Man, you, bro, you know how I say, don't let the dough knob hit you with a good Lord split you. Absolutely, man. But let's let's go back. Uh, real quick, we was letting JP cook. Let's Eric Musselman, man. He he won 111 games, <laughs> took us to three six yeah. sweet 16, two elite eights. We man, was riding we high on that. Muss, man. We, I, I mean, I I ain't mad at him at all, at, at all. all. I ain't tripping. I mean, I've been reading some of the stuff on Twitter. I've been reading some of the stuff on Instagram, bro. It's some people cooking this dude, bro. I mean, they cooking him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he put out that little Instagram post on the way to uh, California. They own, He said they own the way. So they it was on the jet, baby. They he was, was on the jet. jet. <laughs> on the way to California to do the interview already with the UC, uh, 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 USC stuff on. He had that stuff in Little Rock. I mean, in Fayetteville, man. They got on the plane. They was like, hey, man, where the bags at? Let's get out of this Razorback stuff. We can't step out of the plane over here in, in, in Southern California and no Razorback stuff. They threw that out the plane at 30,000 feet. <laughs> 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 they threw it out the plane on 30,000 feet. Everybody had it on. Both his sons, his wife, all of them was back there talking about we on the way and I already knew that little fight, uh, little saying, whatever it is they say. To me, that's trifling, bro. I wouldn't have put that out. That's trifling. Hey. That's trifling, bro. That's like, bro. You know what that's like? That's this is what that's like. You married now. You already told your wife you're getting a divorce. You already said that we gonna get a divorce, but we still live together. Everybody else think we still married. We was just at a function last week together on TV, just like Hunter and and they was. We had a little spat. You know, but we scrape. Now you all over here with uh, Tyrone them. You know what I'm saying? You all over. You like, wait a minute. That's what we doing? Oh, you ain't even. Oh, you just going to leave your baby. And he left the house and didn't take nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't take nothing with him when he left Little Rock. I mean, Arkansas. He didn't take hey. nothing. They, they going to have some people to come get that. Yeah. I mean, when you got that bread like that, you ain't got to do no. You ain't got to do the work. You that house don't to belong do to him. That house belongs to the University of Arkansas. So that's you don't it believe is. it? I you. place everything in here. Everything in here. All this stuff in here that I'm wearing is Razorback stuff anyway. I got a whole new set of clothes waiting on me when I touch down. We gonna holler at you. And let's uh, hold on. Let's Fox ain't on there. We got the bad little brother always. Well, I ain't gonna say always, but we take him away. We we, he's somewhere. We, he's, he's somewhere. We don't know what he's doing, but he's somewhere. But yo, yo, first of all, man, we got four hundred and fifty-five people in here. Let's get them likes going, man. Ooh. Y'all know what we like the to like do. Button. Hit the like button, man. Wash your feet when you come in somebody's house. I'll be coming in here walking around out here like you know, just soaking up all this good entertainment. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you show your appreciation. Hit the like button. So, the bad little so brother, you, what's up, baby? You, you muted. Hold on, you muted. You muted yourself. See? 
Oh, okay, my bad. You know, didn't want to interrupt. You know what I'm saying? We had some real good guests that's going to be coming back in a minute. What's up with y'all? Y'all good? We good, man. How you feel about this must situation, man? Whew. Uh, man, I think I speak for all the young fans. All the f- And by young fans, I mean this. I'm not trying to call y'all old. I mean the guys who didn't get to see the championship. The, the, for those of us that didn't get to see Nolan. This is a weird time for us. Muss is the greatest basketball coach we have seen. So, as much as you know, I'm definitely on the train of you can't cry over spilled milk. But on the other side of that, I'm also thinking like, man, uh, I don't want to suck again. And, you know, we, we tasted a little bit of it this year. But hey, 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 man, you know. change the way you say that. I don't like the way you say that. <laughs> you don't want our team to suck no more. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, you trying to get up off that corner. <laughs> but yeah, so I I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, we gotta keep it moving. We gotta keep it going. So I'm not happy. I'm not one of these people celebrating, I'll say that. Mm. You ain't one of the people that celebrate, huh? Nah, I'm, I'm hey. not celebrating Mus's departure. Mm. Okay. Well, Enough of us, man. He gone. He 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 gone. Bayfall. Let me let me hear my super chats, man. Hold on, I got a couple super chats. I gotta go read. Who we got? I've been doing a little. There we go. Been doing a little, some little upgrades around here. Some of the stuff is kind of out of whack right now. Uh, Clinton. Must out here surfing right now. Leave him alone. And no wife beater jokes about uh, <laughs> Chris Beard. I'd rather have Will Wade. Uh, Beard is all right. Hey. Hey. hey we going to get into you. it. We going to hey, get we into gonna, it. We going to get to cooking on that in a minute. Hey, man, we appreciate you, Super Chat. We appreciate you. All right. Hold on. He's going to get JP back. We're going to read this next Super Chat. Man, my Super Chat's all messed up now. It's all right. Jeremy. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah Somebody. says, everybody that's been on Woo Pig podcast has been saying he about to leave. We've been talking about this during the season. Literally, the only person that thought he wasn't leaving was unbiased. Oh, <laughs> shot fire. <laughs> <laughs> shot fire. We've been talking about it. Tell them again, man. <laughs> We've been Shots on that. Fire. Man. Bro, we been on that all. I mean, for the like we was talking about, hey man, the Woo Pig podcast was the first people that said it. Then you had all these other uh, outlets talking about, hey man, now you got some of these guys that are uh, putting out all of this bad information and these rumors and and things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're 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 unfounded. They're unfounded. But now you watch their podcast today. They was like, hey man, uh, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying, man. We've been on it. JP, Guys, man, sorry we, about that. It's all good, man. We glad you got back on. I, I, I think Eric Musselman put a hex on me from LA. <laughs> <laughs> Your arch nemesis. <laughs> you know now, what? That's what's so. That's what's so crazy is I've known the guy for twenty years. My best mm-hmm. friend coached with him with the with the Memphis Grizzlies. Wow. So I've I've known Mus for a long, long time, and you know. I just always told him, your ego's not your amigo. Hmm. Remember that. Like, you, it takes an army and a village to build a championship roster. So you're going to have to deal with a lot of people. You have to build a lot of relationships. If I, if I tell any young coach that's coming up in this game, what's the most important thing? It's relationships. Period. And don't ever forget, it's always about the players. Yeah. Without the players, coaches are nothing. I I agree with you one hundred percent. Now, when you when you was getting ready to 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 cook, you got uh yeah. you got dropped yeah. off. They, you they get, fall. Yeah. They fall has to be. If you go through every roster from nineteen seventy eight to two thousand twenty four. Find me a worse McDonald's All American. Now Ooh. there's been some that's been through. There's been some that had some drug issues, suspensions, whatever. But I'm talking about just pure player. 
find me a worse player that was a McDonald's All American than Bayfall. Hey, you you can get no arguments out of me because I I've been saying I was been saying it since I saw him the first time in the All American game. I was like, I don't see what they see in this guy. But mm-hmm. hey, neither that here was Ronnie Brewer. Man, so my my next thing, man. Let me ask you this: you know, um, this year, man, we we saw a part of Khalif battle in the first five six games. He was lighting it up. Then toward the middle of the season, he didn't play. He had some DMPs. He got well. Technically, he never got suspended, but we didn't see him. And then he came back, and he was just out there killing the game. He was rebounding, shooting, scoring. What do you do? You know if there was a disconnect in in his game and Musselman at all? You know, I can't speak on that too much. I wasn't there. I'm not at every practice. So, obviously, there was something. You know, I can't say specifically, but I think there was some kind of disconnect because, you know, you can't put up those kind of numbers all of a sudden. Like, that just doesn't fall out of the sky. So, it's almost like, you know, why wasn't this guy being used in this way earlier? So, um, and ultimately, that goes on the head coach. You know, you've got to figure out your rotation. You got to figure out your roles. You know, when you when you you know are putting a team together, you know that's done in August, September, October. So, uh, if you're trying to figure that out in January, February, that's that's a tough that's a tough task. The is the game now? How many people I can get in the portal versus actually building a program? Um, you know, I, I think you have to have that balance. I think you have to have that. You've got to have those 23, 24 year olds that are really, really good. Here, here's the thing. You got to get good players. I don't care if they're portal, if they're juniors, seniors, COVID seniors, or blue chip, all Americans, you've got to get great players. But I think a great roster has to have two or three high-level freshmen, guys that are top 50, McDonald's All-American type guys. I think you have to have three or four 22- to 23-year-olds, and I think you fill the rest of the roster with sophomores and juniors. And so you have that kind of staggered classes where there's balance. Because balance is the key in everything in life. Forget basketball. That's life. So I think if you – if you go all in on older guys, I don't know if that's the, the best recipe either. You know, I think you need to have that perfect mixture. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, where um, <clears throat> Where is the lack of development of the young guys that come in? Opinions, best, one of the best shooters coming out of high school, the, the Darian Fords, the K.K. Robinsons. Uh, where, where where is the disconnect in developing those guys? Well, I, you know, I can't speak on those other guys. I can speak on Joseph Pinion. I trained Joseph Pinion in high school. Um, you know, I'm super excited to see what he does at Arkansas State because I think, to be honest with you, Od, that's really what brought me to your podcast when you did your video <laughs> on on my guy. <laughs> what? (laughs) But it was funny. It was great. No, it was, you know, and I get it, but Joseph, you know, I don't think Joseph really got to display what he's capable of doing. I'm a big believer in Joe Pinion. You know, I fought for Joe to, you know, I kept telling Muss, I was like, I got this white kid down in Moralton, Muss, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. And I remember he went to a tournament in Missouri his sophomore year and I called the Kansas coaches and I said, he's going to be in Missouri. Y'all should come watch him. And they went down there and watched him and, and they offered him. And then Musk calls me and he's like, Kansas offered. And I said, I told you he's pretty good. So um, I'm excited to see kind of what he does at Arkansas state. I think he's going to show 
a lot of people, he's a pretty good player. He's pretty tough. So Mm -hmm. on the other guys, I can't really speak on that. But um, like I said, I'm excited to see what Joe does in Jonesboro. But look, let me ask you, let me say something, man. Joseph Pinion, yes, he's a great shooter. But that dude can't guard nobody, man. That's, that's false. I mean, what you no. mean? <clears throat> Bro, he was he was getting cooked all year, JP. No. Make no. it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. I'm, I'm you seen him. Make- you know that you know that dude is slow as Christmas. He can't guard nobody, no lateral movement. If you're a guy that that trains co- I mean trains players, tell me why that you don't think that dude is slow. Come on now. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's Tony Allen. Okay? He's not I, hey, we're not going to say hey Joe, let's go you're on the number one option. I'm not saying that at all. Joe Pinion can hold water. Okay? And if you really like last year, I think it was the Auburn game. Kid did a spin move off one foot pivot, turnaround jumper from 18 feet and the kid hit it. Sometimes you just tip your hat and say Great That's offensive right. play. He was yeah. snatched out immediately. So, if you want to break down film, to be honest with you, you know, Anthony Black struggled to guard people last year. If you want to be That's real facts. about it. Yeah, That's no facts. I, 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 and I'm not I'm not hating on Anthony Black. He's a tremendous player. But, yeah, everybody but, get beat at some point. <laughs> but consistently... JP, come on now. You know hey, better. Hey, G. Holmes, this, this what I'm no, going to say about no, Pinion. Wait, wait a minute, John. This is what I'm going to say about Pinion and his defense. We got blowed out by 30-some points in a couple of games, and Pinion didn't even play. So what, what, what part of defense are you talking about all year? Hey, again, he didn't get a chance to play. I, and and when Pinion did play, you didn't see him getting beat that beat like that. Right, right. So I spoke with – I'm not going to mention the coach's name, but I spoke to a coach this summer, and they were – kind of excited for, for opinion and, and we talked about this perception of him not being able to play defense. And he said, JP, we had all Americans pros that, and it's political that you have to play. And there had mm. to be a reason why he didn't play. So again, I'm not saying he was Tony Allen. He's not an elite defender. But Joe Pinion could hold water. But I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Joe Pinion, he would have had back to back six and twelve SEC seasons. Because he won must two SEC games last year. Facts. The Missouri game and the Ole Miss game. If Joe doesn't do what he does, they lose those games. Mm-hmm. And that's Every the time. top pro. Let me uh let me get to my super chats here. Um, bias. He says, Must's last words, I'm more motivated than ever. Lies. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's what he said, man, in the press conference. He more motivated than ever, but he didn't tell you what he was motivated to do. He more motivated than ever to get on that plane to California. <laughs> hey, man, thank you for supporting the channel, Sean Sand- Sanders. Wikipedia page for Beard. Arkansas head coach. <laughs> hey. it, ain't even, it ain't even Wikipedia. You can just go Google his name. Hey, may, maybe it happened already, man. Hey, shout out to Hog Nation 79 with the $20 super flex on him. Flex on he him, said, baby. Man, he said, where Coach Box at? He must be in favor of for- interviewing for the job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, the they, don't, they don't want Coach Box up there. <laughs> Dubs in the chat for Box. To be the new head coach. <laughs> I promise Put you. Put your W's hey. in the chat if you want Coach Box as your next head coach. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, can can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes, we sir. Hear you. I'm kind of looking at the super chat. I, by no means am I saying Joe Pena was a great defensive player. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that at all. But I think it was overblown a little bit, and I'm just saying a little bit. So, so. Just take that for what it's worth. Bro, there's people in the, in the NBA right now that can't play defense, let alone Pinion. Let me let's let me, I'm gonna go take take again at these comments here. Cause there's a lot of comments, so Bro, definitely they, they 
His comments popping tonight. Yes. So the super chats I always get presidents. We read the super chats uh, faithfully. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Blood Diamond Entertainment says, "What up, Kings? Y'all see Cohen flip? Actually, yep. I had an overlay for that, but while we were yeah. having the show, I guess he uh he already flipped on him. Yep, uh, he so did. he gone. He, he going gone. to UCF, U, uh, USC. How you feel about that box? I promise you, Musk was telling all these guys he was going. Facts. That dude from oh, UMass, definitely. I promise you, he said, "Hey, go ahead, commit to Arkansas, but I'm going to USC. You can flip to them once I once I sign on with USC." He OD. was recruiting for USC while he was at Arkansas. Od. Yeah. So a couple nights ago, Pinto and I did a Twitter space with that Curry Sage. He's kind of a well known in the coaching search, kind of. Twitter sphere or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's actually from UMass. That's where he's from. And so he gave us a great scouting report on him. He said, I was shocked he went to Arkansas. I don't see how he can translate to the SEC. Has some kind of crafty moves around the rim, limited athletically, mm. really out of shape. And if you guys were talking about Pinion's defense, <laughs> hey, so, don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Cause a couple of shows ago, it was said that old boy from UMass got he got his feet is quicksand. He has no athletic ability, athletic ability, and he can't dunk yeah. for nothing. He was no, he was got he was got thrashed in SEC. Right. Mm. So you know whatever. Good luck out there. Have you know good luck. That's what I told him. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this, uh, JP. Um, sure. I'm a, it's just a straight up question, man. Is is UC USC a better job than Arkansas? No. Off the court, yes. Correct. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Plays, no, no, no. But I'll but I'll tell yeah. you this though. USC basketball is about the 68th ranked thing to do on a Saturday night in Los Angeles. It Angel. is. Mm-hmm. Like, like there's a lot of things to do out there more than you. So, you know, a lot you of had distractions. A, and I and I told Musk that when he got the job here, I said, Musk, if you love on these people, they'll build a statue for you here. You know, mm. and he never could really understand that concept. Mm. You know, I don't think he ever truly embraced Arkansas culture. You know, I used to always tell my friends, I said, if he's got 48 hours off, he's anywhere but Arkansas. Mm-hmm. He was just uh, a lot. So let me, let me just. Liberty. Go ahead, G, go ahead. He wasn't in Arkansas. Well, I just want to uh, just comment on one of the comments from uh, Kevin Greenwood. He says, must took y'all to, uh, took y'all to Sweet 16s and Elite 8s. Now y'all bashing him. We're not bashing him. Don't please do not mis, misunderstand what the barbershop is. The barbershop is for you can come out and just say how you feel about something. I ain't bashing you. I I, I said I told we gave us some love. We said, man, we appreciate the memories. We appreciate that. But I mean, do you still are you still rocking with your ex girlfriend? You still rocking with her? You still when somebody say, "Hey man, where 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 Felicia at?" Y'all not together no more. After a few times, you're gonna be like, "Look here, man, I don't, I don't, we ain't together no more." <laughs> Are you bashing her? No, you just moving on. So let us move on. If you don't like the way we move on, then get on down. Let me explain something about Musk. When Musk came, he had Isaiah Joe or and Mason, right? Yeah, Mason right. Jones. Yeah. We got Brazil and Marks, if one Left. down leaves. So which one did he inherit? Did he inherit a better team or did he leave a better team? Well, ain't nobody on the team now but two yeah, players. Only, they ain't but two players on the roster now. You got exactly. Marks okay. and, and Brazil. Hey, OD, OD, that's actually a positive. If I'm whoever's the incoming coach, I want to have a clean slate. I want to go shopping Facts. for my group. Yeah, because so, I've actually took over programs 
where you're stuck with the previous and that's there's nothing worse there's nothing worse so having a blank slate is actually attractive because in the that's nil cool. you can put together seven or eight guys in a week that's cool if it was november this is march and april this is april no it's the portal though i mean you can go into the portal and put together seven or eight guys and be pretty good next year. Be yeah, but this good. is April. This is April. It Look, ain't March. They, they haven't even sung one shining moment yet. Okay. We gotta get eleven we gotta get eleven players. In That'd April. be all right. Yeah, they be no, fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried yeah. about that at all. That's low on the total pole of worries. Yeah. So hey, moving on to this next topic, man. Ken Phillips. Super chat. He says, "Must unfortunately is a coward. He we mm. need Tang or Beard. Who P? So got Beard. He he super chatted that right on time because my next topic is was Hunter Urichek playing chess all along? Yeah, <laughs> I, I got a question for JP that that got to do. It kind of hang on to that. All right." So it's kind of a two-parter. So one, okay. JP, I wanted to know, since you're so close to Musk, you know, you know him, y'all got a relationship. How much did that video play a part? Like, did it did it even hold any weight? You know, the video um, that your check posted the other day before Musk officially left. And then two, um, the second part of that question is, when did you kind of get the sense that Musk was kind of looking around and ready to go? Well, <clears throat> to answer your first question, zero. I mean, I think what Hunter Juracek did was 3D chess. And and if you don't think he had his he didn't have his coach in mind when he made that video, that would be the riskiest move of all time. He knew what he had. Mm. And now so you feel like Musk was gonna leave regardless. Correct. So when you when you when you kind of look at that video again, you're still here. You know, it's kind of like <laughs> that guest that's staying at the house too long. Like yeah. you're still mm -hmm. here. You like still here? Get on down. And so you don't say that unless you got your guy. Mm. You just so I think that that was already in place. Because I think I think Musk knew infield was gonna take SMU which was going to open up USC, which, you know, you're a check new. So he's like, Hey, I've got to, you know, I've got to find my guy, you know, mm. before it even takes place. Cause that's what a good AD does. But we finna find out how good of an AD he is because this is going to be the second. I mean, very few ADs have to hire for the two major sports within a few years of themselves. And so he's having to hire another major head coach of that university because no one really talks about if the soccer coach, oh, they change the soccer coaches. We don't even know. Right. Nobody knows, but people know when the baseball, football and basketball coach head coaching changes, even the position coaches and some of those assistants, all of those guys have a lot of clout. So, this right here is going to really um, bring some bring some light to to Hunter Yurchek. Okay, you hire Sam Pittman, and people really don't like that. We think that was a that was a mercy hire, and that was a hire that it was safe for him. He really didn't have anybody else, and you know, because we talked about that when, when you know that you know what he was just like. Okay, I guess we'll take Sam Pittman because he wants the job. He didn't really woo anybody. That dude was crying when he got it. Hunter Yurchek's background is basketball. Well, we're going to see. He played college basketball. That's his background. So if you look at his, his must hire, was an A. Sweet 16, true, true elite eights. You can't disrespect what must did. No, you know, not, I mean, that, I'm not saying that it's disrespectful. This this was pointed no, toward, no, saying, you know, Hunter Yurchek. What is he going to do now? Okay, yeah, you no, made a good no. hire with Musselman. What are you going to follow that with? I think he's going to follow with Chris Beard. 
and it's an A plus hire. What does the panel think? Box, what you think? I think if he don't get Chris Beard this weekend, it won't be Chris Beard. They got the same, they got the same agent. Chris Beard ain't signed this extension over there at Ole Miss. So we don't hear a Chris Beard signing. By Monday, it won't be Chris Beard. Mm. It will be you, announced. It will be what? Oh, what was that, JP? It, it will be announced Monday. Chris Beard. Uh oh. That, that what I'm y'all heard y'all yeah. heard it here first, man. We dropping dimes over here. Y'all ain't know what about the Woo Pig podcast. Man, well, I know they ain't here sniping on us. <laughs> everything, that I done, everything I done seen and heard, y'all said it with Wikipedia, Google got it. I think it's going to be Chris Beard. Because I mean, the reason, he, I, signed, it, he, it's a reason he, he ain't signed that extension. He just he just came out and told you what day it's going to be on. He said it's going to be he on He just Monday. said that. Everybody said it's going to be Monday because they said we played Ole Miss this weekend. Chris Beard okay. going to be in town this weekend. Oh, no. oh that's right. Uh, yeah. That's right in baseball. That's right. They're gonna be in town this weekend. They're not gonna announce this weekend. I keep going back. You do not release that video if you're Hunter Yurichek unless you know you have Chris Beard in your pocket. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm Period. more on the sense with well, that because I think Yurichek know he gotta move fast or he gonna his reputation is destroyed. If he don't get hey. a coach soon, it's it, all of this is truly a scandal. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take that video and release it unless he knows he has his coach. Nobody yeah. risks their career like that. Come on. If, yeah. if he that don't guy's... get Chris Beard, if he don't get Chris Beard, it need to be Will Wade. We can sit Correct. there and say yeah. we want to buy Will Wade. Will Wade yeah. had LSU rocking. He yeah, got, that's what he I got said. Fired because of cheating. That's the same thing Bruce Pearl got fired for. Now it's mm-hmm. legal. Now it's OG, legal. Fox, I'm Will Wade's biggest fan. I, I speak with Will three or four times a week. But I'm that's very, but that's we like, want to rock with Will. I rock with Will. Hey, Go ahead, guys, finish finish up, JP. Here, what are you about to say? Here's my prediction. I think Chris Beard takes the Arkansas job, and I think Will Wade takes the Ole Miss job. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It's easy to get Will Wade though. It's easy yeah, well, uh, to get him from McNeese State. Guys, yeah, Will, Will Will Wade is trying to get back to the SEC. Guys, Will Wade and Lane Kiffin on the same campus. Come Ooh, on, that'd be. Oh, okay. Let me uh let me read my super chats. I got a couple of them. I need to get to. Uh, let's see here. What's the next one? First off, let me go ahead. Uh. Shout out to Matt, man. We appreciate you supporting the channel, man. He says, Pinion's lack of development on defense, it's on must. Mm. Hey, mm. Brian K. Jenkins. He said, man, it's gloomy in here with the three peace sign emojis, man. <laughs> he said it's gloomy. <laughs> hey, he said he don't like it in here. He got to go. Get on down. Hey, DJ Hogg, shout out to you, man. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. He said, I'm with Box. Should we be concerned? Yes. Can we acquire six, seven high-quality players to secure victories and compete? Might be a coaching challenge. Mm. Might be. Might be, but it might not be. Man, we got another super chat, man. Hold on. Flex on him. Flex on him. He saw some shots to child, man. Shots man, five. He said, happy early one-year anniversary, fellas. Man, I don't we get appreciate it. you. It don't get any better than this when it when it comes to covering our hogs. Y'all show some love to the Woo Pig podcast, man. Man, we appreciate shout you. Out. Man, appreciate you, hog. Hey, man, I got something to say too, man. We got six hundred and well, ooh, get off of that number. Somebody drop out. I need somebody <laughs> to drop out. Somebody Go ahead and say on. it. Say it with your chest. We got six hundred and sixty-six <laughs> people in here right now. Don't be man. scared. It's just a number. It's just a number. <laughs> I don't like that number. I don't like it. <laughs> Y'all hit the like button, man. We only got 167 likes, man. It's 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 over half a thousand of y'all in here, man. OG, Let's go. Yes, sir. Let go me ahead. Ask you, who for the last three months have been telling you Musk was gone? You yeah, you've been saying it. 
Some old crazy dude we call JP. Me. Me. (laughs) (laughs) Us. No question. You could tell Musk was gone by the way he was coaching. Correct. By the way he was acting. Mm. The big, the biggest smile I don't seen on Musk's face today when he was on that plane with USC shirt on. (laughs) Yeah, he was. He was. Bro, he was bubble gumming, wasn't he? Hey, so hey, let me. This, 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 wait a minute. This is what I'm saying about Musk. Musk is a great used car salesperson. He can get you <laughs> to a certain point. He can get your used car inventory to a certain point. But sooner or later, you're going to see he's been over, he's been power booking these cars that the bank don't work, that bank don't allow that. So <laughs> once they figure out you power, that you power booking these cars to get these deals done, they're going to cancel you. Must Spoken like a develop, true salesman. <laughs> must do not must do not develop talent whatsoever. He got to depend mm. on a portal that's already developed. That's where you see the forwards, the pinions, the 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 blockers, the bay falls. He don't he don't develop talent. That's when he 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 recruit more portal than the than than, than, than the 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 freshman. That only gonna get you so far. So give me mm. a coach who's going to develop that talent, that homegrown talent that must just overlooked and they went to somewhere else. Well, it is what it is on, on this one. But we moving on to the next topic, man. I'm out here doing what I do on social media. I see this comment, and he's basically blaming the fans. He says, it's, a, it's sad to say, but if must leave, now this was earlier in the day before it got announced. Blame us as a fan base. One bad year and y'all talk down to on must. I leave too. Y'all want loyalty. You have to give it. No way must supported to supposed to be in talks to go anywhere. We got to do better as a fan base. FYI. No way Devo was supposed to enter the transfer portal. Homegrown and did a lot for the program. No loyalty from the supporters. Hog Nation, we got to do better. Now, my question is, are the fans too hard on players and coaches nowadays? Is that the reason they leaving? OD, can I tell you a story that will dispel that? Go for it. That's what I want to know. So three years ago, one of my closest friends actually worked for the guy that represented Eric Eric Musselman. He also represented Chris Beard as well. So when that Texas job came open, Musk wanted it bad. And so obviously Chris Beard got it. So Musk fired my guy because he said, you Mm. pushed Beard over me. So if you think it was the fans being hard on Muss and the team this year is why he left, nothing could be farther from the truth. He was trying to get out year two. Mm. And that's 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 a bombshell you just dropped on us. I don't even know if you know that. That's do y'all hear that in the chat? I hope y'all heard what he just said. He said Muss wanted the Texas job years ago. We didn't have nothing Mm. to do with it. Arkansas no. was just a stepping stone to get to another job. Musk was never staying at Arkansas, period. No. Mm-mm. When you fire somebody because you perceive that they pushed another fellow client, you wanted that job. Mm. Come on. Now. Real bad. Yeah, you wanted really? that real bad. Mm. That's crazy. Hey, Musk was That's... looking for a job last summer. We just made it to the Sweet 16. Ain't no fans trying to run, run him out. Must wanted to leave. Yeah, and and <laughs> and second of all, how can how is it that I'm making four and a half million dollars a year? I don't care what you say. You ain't making me leave. Really? That's what we're doing. You you think you can tell me? You think you can say something to me after they making them deposits every two weeks, once a month? Man, get off my phone with that. And we ain't ran no muss off. He was looking. He ain't broke. He ain't broke. He ain't, I mean, it ain't like he finna go out there and lose no money. He ain't Guys, broke. They, he gonna go out there and move into a house that they buy. What you mean? Greg, there, 
here's a tidbit that a lot of people don't realize about mutts. A lot of people think the money that they was from the father who was an NBA coach. Those guys didn't make any money back in the eighties coaching in the NBA. Mm -hmm. The no. comes from the mother's side. They own two of the largest Pepsi distributorships in the, in the state of California. Mm. Wow. So, wow. So he's trying to get back to the house. Money's not an issue. Not an issue. I, and have y'all ever heard the saying, why well, see the world when you got the beach, bro, if y'all have ever met anybody from California, that that is the mecca of their world like that nothing can compare to it i tried to get my la boys to come visit me one time they was like for what so <laughs> I, I think that played a big a big point in it he just he, he didn't care about this type of place he like why y'all got so many trees you know how cali people yeah. i what's know crazy? right they come what's, here they be like what's that smell that's fresh air sucker what's crazy <laughs> is nobody at arkansas wanted must back the boosters or a hundred euro check. Mm. They didn't offer him not one contract. They wanted him gone. Mm. Nobody hey. at Arkansas wanted him back. And, uh, oh, and, and 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 wait a minute, the 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 trucking company, what's that name? Oh, JB Hunt. JB Hunt want, would rather pull their money they given instead of give it to us. They ain't never did that to no coach. Mm. So before we move on to the next segment and, and, and open this thing up, man, JP, I know you got a question, man, but we got to pay some bills. We got to shout out our sponsor, man. DZ. Yes, sir. Oh you know what it is. Experience peace of mind with Insurance Max, your one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. Don't wait. Call today for a free no-obligation quote and secure your future with Insurance Max, where protection meets affordability. Call those guys at 870-534-2823. And then you know we got to give love to our guys over at 3M Electric. Uh, serving Northwest Arkansas, they're your trusted commercial and residential electric contractor. As an SDV OSV, they're dependable, reliable, with no job too big or too small. So for any electrical needs, give those guys a call at 479-408-9865. And you heard it on the best podcast in the world, baby. A woo pig. Pie. Yo, that shout out to the sponsor. Hey, hey, that boy been flexing. I'm proud of you, little brother. I'm proud of you, baby. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> hey, I can't mess right. the money up, man. Can't mess the money <laughs> up. All right, JP, prediction. what was you about to say? Got a big prediction. All right. You better, you better keep music. But Devo Davis will be a Razorback next year. Bro, oh, G, hey, no. G, shoot you the gun. Cool, shoot the gun, no. G. Shoot the oh, gun. Oh, my God. No. Are you. Hey, man. <laughs> no. No. Shoot no. the gun again, man. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I ain't got no, no sound. I need my sound effects, man. No. My sound effects oh, is broke. Hey, hey, JB. Evo I want you to, no. I, JB, I want, I want you to come back. I want you to come back on, JB, when it's severely back. It's JP. P. P J P J P. I want you to come back when it's severely backfire in your face. Devo will not be back. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on. J P. Why Fox. do you say Devo is coming back, man? Fox, I'll put a steak dinner on it. Oh hold on, hold no! On. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. y'all gotta let y'all gotta let him cook, man. Why is well, Devo coming want. back? Because Chris Beard was actively recruiting him at Ole Miss. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, Chris Beard is a super, super smart guy. And he knows the fan base. Plus, say what you want to say about Devo, but there's been some great stuff in that career. And maybe some of that this year could have been with Muss. Maybe we don't uh. know. And so... I'm just telling you, my gut feeling is Devo will be a Razorback. Man, y'all nice. gonna drive me to drinking. <laughs> y'all gonna Devo drive me to drinking. De Devo gave Devo gave everybody <laughs> three or four games a I year. Like and De 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 Devo gave everybody three or four games a year, and everybody think he's a savior. What about the other twenty eight? Savior, but I think Chris Beard will be savvy enough to bring back 
him because he is a fan favorite. He is. So is so is Mark. Hey. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, man. Oh, dude. It, 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 oh my God, man. I, it's Where's one. It this is one time. I hope you're wrong. Exactly. I, I do too. <laughs> Top five. <laughs> <Jamie>. <laughs> 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 Devo, man. Hey, man. You know I love no. you, man. We we got a great relationship. But this is one time. I hope you did wrong, and I'll be like, see what I'm talking about, man. Please, I, no. I, I, there's been times Devo's frustrated me, obviously, you know. But you know, from a from a, if you look at it, and you take a step back. It really makes sense. You want you want experience. You want some continuity. And but, bro, while, he didn't have that. What are you talking about? Well, Box was worried about: Are we going to be able to fill a roster? There's Not one guy Boo-Boo. as that hey, I would me, give us out, no question. Hey, hey get, get UAPB for before you take Devo. Just give me the guy from UAPB. He ain't gonna quit on us, wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hold on, man. I got a, I got some super chats, man. I got to get to. Oh, man, man. I hope you wrong. Oh, my God. So, who was the last I take Pinion before Devo. I think. Man, give one, me Pinion with the, with the, with the. Hey, Clint Williams says, DZ, man, you look so sad, bro. It's okay. Hall's going to be consistent. Going to get a consistent head coach that stay in the top three of the SEC and be a, a constant in the dance. I bet my farm on it. Year two after the, this hire, we won't be remembering us. I don't remember I'm him now. I don't remember him now. That's all I'm going to say, man. That's, hey, you know when your grandpa be like, back in the day, I was that man. That's how y'all old Razorback fans is. I didn't get to see you <laughs> be nobody up, grandpa. Okay? <laughs> no, I, I ain't see them hands. <laughs> hey, man. We got Travis Adar, man. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. We appreciate it. He says, Muss has been looking for another Golden State lifestyle. It finally came this year. Man, get it to him. Man, Caleb Brown, thanks for supporting the channel, man. We appreciate what it. What up, nephew? He says, do you think 100-year check will factor in the reason Chris Beard was fired from Texas mm. and maybe they choose somewhere, it. choose someone else? Ah. After the we case. just got Petrino back. You can only be you can only be use that as as a factor if he was convicted. Yeah, yeah court of public opinion says different box, but we're gonna come back and ask that question in a minute. But man, shout out uh, Jeremiah man for supporting the channel as always. Yes, sir. He said JP made a great point. When Musk was off, he was always out of state. If you watch Next. his gram, so what you want? So what you want about Pittman? But you can tell Pittman actually enjoys the state of Arkansas and oh, yeah. the people. Say what you want. Yeah, say what you want. True. Yeah, True. that's facts. True. Bro, um, what's mm. what's the name of that coach? What's the name of that coach from that came from SMU? Um, what's the name of that head coach came from SMU that used to coach at? at um, you talking basketball or football? Football. He Chad coached Morris. at. at Chad Morris, he loves State of Arkansas too. What that mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was gonna hammer bring that down. Chat. We gonna hammer down. Hey, hey so hey, let me, hey, let me so. explain somebody. Let me explain some my beard. <laughs> but Trimman, but hey, Petrino had a wreck with his mistress he hired, and everybody <laughs> loved that house. But you gonna complain about beard? I ain't complaining hey. about beard. So, so I, JP, this is the hey, part of the show where the barbershop about to get live. We about to, <laughs> we just opened it up to the hall pen. I don't know if you want to stay in here for this. No, I love it. Let's go. Okay, bet that up. So we got, we got Wes and Unbiased in the building, man. Here, give me a Uh-oh. second to bring y'all on the on the deal. Here. Uh oh, it's about to get real, Unbiased. It's about to get crazy. So What's listen up, here, man. We're gonna have to have some type of format because the arguing is finna get real. I know <laughs> for a fact. I know for a fact that Box gonna have some some real greasy to say to unbiased. Cause they just had this conversation last episode about muscleman. So first it's gonna be box <laughs> and, and unbiased. So y'all go get this out the way. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what? I ain't Wait a minute, let him talk. No, let, no, let, let, let Unbiased right. talk. No, he got no, to get it. He got to first. get it. Let Box be nah, first. No, 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 no. This is how we going to run it. Since y'all just came on the show, 
Unbiased, you got two minutes, and then Wes, you got two minutes. That's okay. Good. First and foremost, good evening to everyone. JP West, Box, OD, Lil Bad Brother DZ, G Holmes, everybody out there. We have 500, and, we have over 520 people on YouTube watching a total of 738 all together. Listen, y'all like, share everywhere, first and foremost, okay? So Thanks. I was wrong. I thought we were going to get one more season out of Mus. The saddest thing about all this, and I, I listen, I didn't went viral kind of on Twitter. The saddest thing is Mus checked out this entire season he let down his players and he let down the fans why because he mentally was not in it he might have did his job but he didn't do it with the passion that he did when he first came here that's my issue with this the way that he left was a whimper for somebody that has as much pride as he has i feel like it was cowardice that's my opinion i know people may disagree with it some people may agree with it but at the end of the day he tucked his tail and ran when the when the flames got a little hot and i understand he's a west coast guy but at the end of the day his name was rumored with th four different places and to find out that he'd been looking for another job for two, almost two and a half years it's been real i appreciate what you did and what you accomplished in in, in on, on the hoop court but this season you were out coached clearly and you did not utilize your players properly, and you wasted a year of some of these guys' talents. And I could go on a long tangent, but I get my two minutes is almost up, so let me finish it and wrap it up. I hope that Hunter Juracek does what he needs to do to bring Chris Beard or whatever coach that we feel is the right fit because the time is ticking and your job could be on the line. But that video you dropped, Nostradamus, you knew what was going on. So shout out to you. Mm. Hey, that's a great take on bias. On bias got it off. I, I mean, this. Wes, we gonna come to you here in just a second. Here, I'm gonna replace with OD. box, and we gonna pop. JP. It ain't your turn, JP. JP don't know no etiquette. <laughs> he just out here buck wild. He got his hair cut. He looking clean. Look at him. Y'all just look at All JP, right. man. Go turn to the side, man. Let him see that line. Go turn to the side. Look at him. <laughs> he went to the black barber shop today. <laughs> hey, Wes, we coming to you next, man. You just turn, it's your turn to cook, baby. You got two All minutes. Right. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We yes, hear sir. You. Uh, good, good. Unbiased. Great job, man. You had uh, You took the words out of my mouth. But, you know, I thought about this today. And uh, I loved Muss until the last 12 months. And then the way that everything ended, it's really, it, it's been difficult for me to, in the last couple of days, to remember the good times. Now I'm kind of pissed at him because of the way he he left. And then on Twitter today, when I saw that that little clip, when he was on the airplane and he had his family, you know, he did the same stuff when he came to Arkansas. So what does that tell me? It kind of makes me feel like that that's that's a politician, man. That's not a genuine person. And he's just playing until he gets the next good job. So anyway, the the whole season last year was um well, I read a lot of reports over the last year and a half year or so and he has been looking for a job according to those reports, but I did not believe it really. You know, I thought he was all in on Arkansas. But now looking back and the way the season unfolded and he just really did not seem to have that passion last year or it was spotty at best, it, you know, now look, looking in, in hindsight, he wanted to leave. So, you know, at the end of the day, he's gone. I'm, and I'm now happy he's gone because he doesn't want to be here. I don't want people here that don't want to be here. So I just hope Hunter doesn't have a repeat of Lane Kiffin with the basketball coach, and we wind up with a Pittman equivalent on the basketball floor. That's my hope for Arkansas. I hope we do land someone like Beard. Mm. Now, JP, you've been trying to cook for a minute. Uh, guys, I can't say it enough. Chris Beard's our next head coach. Hey. I'm going to say this, man. JP right ain't there. never let us wrong. Everything we've been telling y'all, JP ain't let us wrong. So if JP no, say we, Chris Beard is going to be the next coach, hey, you heard it here. Write it down. Write it down. In, take put a it picture. in the back. Take a picture. Hey, everything that we done got has, all, has come to fruition. 
So if he say that, hey man, y'all, y'all get y'all some Chris, Chris Beard shirts. JP, I hope you're wrong. I really, I mean, I, I mean, only about the Devo. Mm. Hey, but we got Hold a super up. chat that's, that's, that's defending Devo. So let me read my super chats real quick. Uh, a good. shout out to man, what is this? Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. We appreciate it. I have no idea what that name is, though. <laughs> and then he hit us again. He said, Beard is 3-0 against Midget Man. Love this show. <laughs> hey, shout him out, G. Hit him, hit him with that shotgun, man. There we go. We love we you, too, boot. man. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. That's what y'all need to do, y'all. Since we got so many people in here, I know all of y'all ain't subscribers. So y'all go, I mean, hey, man, we do content like this three times a week. So y'all go on there and subscribe. Please subscribe, like, subscribe, and share. Go tell a friend to tell a friend. Hey, man, they getting it in over there at the Whoopi Podcast. Boo Jones says, put some, put some respect on Devo Dane. Hey, he man. saved us every NCAA tournament we've been in. Must tenure at Arkansas is nothing without sweet thing. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> we got us a supporter. <laughs> it's, just it's, it's just funny to me because every, every time somebody says somebody did what they talking about the NCAA tournament, like we had to get there first. Boy, hey, what man. you said. Everybody loved tournament another, Devo, man. And another got thing, this, this, the one this Chris Beard, oh, oh. this Chris Beard thing. We was in a group chat today, and I said Chris Beard and Will Wade. Somebody said you got to pick one. I say Will Wade because I don't think we can get Chris Beard. After reading what I read today and getting messages, test messages from people that I know today, Chris Beard jumped to my top because I was at Will. I was with Will, with Will Wade because there ain't no way I thought Chris Beard would jump ship after one year to SEC school. Now my <laughs> mind has changed. Mm. Mm. So, unbiased. You you sleep, but what you doing? Who, no, who you, you think know, the listen, next? I'm, I'm sorry, my Twitter's been blowing up crazy. I'm sorry, bro. I'm everybody just... getting in the day. So, so what do you? Who do you think is going to be the next hire? JP got got, got Chris Beard. Uh, Box got Chris Beard. I have Chris Beard as well because Chris Chris Beard's ties and his want to be in the want to be in Arkansas. He wants it. He went to Ole Miss because that was the first job he could be to get his hands on after dealing with his situation and circumstances. But if he was to choose, it would be Arkansas. Now, how much is the buyout? Did he sign an extension? All those are all questions that we got to figure out, you know, and we'll find out very shortly. Wes, what say you? Same thing. I would love to have Chris Beard, but, you know, I'm still wondering, like Unbiased said, I'm wondering about his extension. I'm wondering about the buyout. I wonder if Hunter is going to pony up the money, if there is a big buyout. Um, but, yeah, that's my obvious choice. I think I think that's who it's going to be. I feel good about it, especially everything that I'm reading. Um, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. And uh, I want him because he kicked the crap out of Arkansas this past season. So bring him on. Mm. Mm. He ain't signed no extension, though. Now, that's, that's I heard he didn't sign it either. On that, man. There's a lot of con conflict about whether he did or didn't. He did. You know what? You know what scares me though, everybody. Arkansas's history. We never get the first guy we want. Mm. That's what makes me a little nervous, just historically. Now, I mean, that don't mean that's going to be the case because, you know, but I'm a little worried about that as well because I don't really want Will Wade. I don't. I wasn't a fan of Will Wade? Wade. I'm just not a personal fan of him. If he's the coach, Bro. I'm going to root him on to be successful. But he, for me, he's just not my cup of tea. That's all. Okay, so, you know? so, so, oh, okay, so when we were talking about that today, initially – I said, man, you know what? I would love to get 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 great, uh, Chris Beard. But then I got to thinking, and me and me and Box was talking, and I was like, well, you know, he is first year at Ole Miss, and I'm sure they probably got a good compensation package. And Ole Miss got some money, some money down there in Mississippi. Y'all think it's you think it's this your game if you want to. My sister live in Oxford. I just came from Ole Miss. Uh, yes, I mean uh, this past uh, weekend. I'm telling you, it's some money down there. So. 
I was kind of skeptical about that. But then I got to thinking about our, our man's uh, Will Wade. I was like, look here, man. Will Wade at LSU, the only reason why he loses that job at LSU is why? Is because he was giving players money. He was he was doing what you what he had to do, but guess what? Uh, guess what they was doing? They was beating the brakes off for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Who are you talking about? No, he wasn't. We beat them three times what in the you? same season with Will Wade as the coach. Stop. Oh, man. Come on, man. You know, Get your information I, I, right. I don't think uh, I don't think Will's bad, but I looked back at his LSU record. It was good, but I didn't see anything that was just overly exciting about. I like his him. attitude. I like his. I like. I like him because he got some fight. Greg, can I tell a story? Go ahead. Let's hear it, JP. So I've known Will Wade for a long, long time. Okay, I'm biased. Forget the media, the little bias or whatever, because we've known in the last four or five years, they can kind of tilt some things, right? We've kind of seen that last. So, I want to tell you a story about Will Wade. So two of his players that had played for him for three years, they had exhausted their eligibility. They were done. They had signed professional contracts to go overseas. They were both in a major car wreck. This is one of the things. Go look at the indictment that they put on him. This is one of the things that that was brought up or that they used against him. So they're in this major car wreck. They were in the car together. And it was pretty bad to the point that they couldn't they couldn't play ball for three or four months because they had to rehab. Well, if you know anything about hey, you've got a you've got a girl, you've got some children. So Will Wade took out of his own pocket, he took care of those kids for four months, paid their rent, paid their groceries paid their utility bills, okay, until they were healthy that they could then go overseas and provide for their family. Do you think Eric Musselman, if L. Ellis and and Graham were in a car wreck, do you think that Musk would pay their bills for four months? No. Will Wade is a great person. I, just trust me on that. Will Wade is a real one. Was he giving some guys some paper? Yeah. And so was, guess what? So was John Wood. <laughs> so was everybody. Yeah, they just didn't so get caught. Most what coaches. Do with his coaching ability. I mean, that's a yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm a good person, but I can't no, coach. But, but Will, <laughs> Will, <laughs> and I can coach. I ain't a good person. <laughs> <laughs> No, but <laughs> Ebony and Ivory, I'm Story, just because that tells you what kind of character that man is. He's not a bad. He's not a scumbag, like the stuff that they try to say on Twitter. Like a scumbag doesn't do that. A I scumbag thought- player and wins games with him, and then when he can't win any more games, he throws them away. That's a scumbag. Well, I never thought JP. that. About- because there's so many reports about Chris Beard out there, and you know we all know what Bobby did. I don't even fool with that stuff, but uh, I just looked at his LSU record, and while it was good, it, his record wasn't bad. You know what did he do at LSU? He was there for what five seasons? Is is that correct? Four or five seasons? What he what did he do that really is bringing that enthusiasm for well, that hire? Well, I mean, if you look. Chris Beard, and and that's the choice. But Chris Beard had Texas Tech in a national championship game. What do you think he's going to do at Arkansas with our resources? No, I'm talking about Will Wade. No, I yeah, understand. I, yeah, I'm on Chris Beard, but I'm I'm saying if your if your well, argument is is Will Wade, Will hmm. Wade's not the coach at Arkansas. Chris Beard is going to be the coach at Arkansas. Yeah, I hope you're right, man, because I. <laughs> I have faith hey, he in him. Didn't, he's standing he's on business. He didn't say it like, it may, it like I'm five you. times already. <laughs> he, he ain't he ain't messed up about what y'all talking about. I got a super chat, man. Dustin Simpson says, 
I wouldn't be mad if Musk left to USC naturally in the last few weeks. But the way he did it is like breaking up and then finding out she cheated on you. Mm. Gunshots. Amen. Amen. Can I share something with JP? Sure. See, the thing is, my thing with Will Wade was never really about his character. And that, that story you told was phenomenal. And, and, and it actually, I got a little chill from it, so I, I believe it to be true. Um, but I'm just looking at him as a coach. You know, X's and O's, because I do understand the game of basketball. Just seeing what he, how he utilized his talent. He's a respectable coach. He's not a bad coach. He's a pretty good one. But just for me... Mm, you know, it's not you know that's really, that's really what I'm basing it on is that I'm not basing it on the outside stuff. You know, even though that probably could play a role. And and another thing, if we don't got 300 likes yet, everybody smash the like. We almost got 900 people in here between Man. all platforms. Smash the button. We salute to everybody. Paul Nation, stand Hopper. up. This Man. was Who Pig family. Let's go, Mike. What y'all doing? Let's go. Hit the like button and then follow that with a sub. Because I'm hey, telling guys, you, Jay, if you stay in here this question. long, bro, this is what we do. Hypothetically, I want you to play what hypothetical. Up? Hypothetical. Cream rises to the top. Facts. You got great stuff here. Uh, you guys are authentic. You know, we, you can tell you love the Razorbacks. So just keep grinding, guys. You guys are doing great stuff. All right. So, Man, JP, I, I, got a, you, JP. I got a hypothetical question here. Hypothetically, okay. let's just say Chris Beard does not become the Arkansas Razorback head wah, coach. Wah, wah. Who other than Will Wade is on your list? Box. Box. <laughs> Box is the coach. Coach Box. Everybody <laughs> leave. Hey, I, prom I promise you they're going to have respect for me and play hard. Box go have a megaphone. Wait a minute. 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 I said high post. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. High post. High post. Hey, what was the movie where the 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 coach Coach Carter he chained the chained the door? Let's box. They ain't getting that. No, that's hey. Hey, and what happened? What happened that year? Hey, they played good. They lost. They lost the game at the end. <laughs> That's okay. That, I mean, that was theatrics. You know. Now we Back Box to the question. Other, other, than, first season. other than Will Wade and Chris Beard, hypothetically, who's on your list? I, I think the third guy's probably Jerome Tang from Kansas State. Yeah. That's probably the third in line. I would say. Mm. I think you got to look at maybe a dark horse. It, it would never go that far. I think if they offered Will Wade the job, he would take it. If they offered Jerome Tang the job, he would take it. So anything past that's probably just for for nonsense, really. But maybe the guy at Sanford, that's kind of an outside the box, that Bucky ball a little bit. The guy at Indiana State, Josh Schurz, you know, had, you know, won 32 games this year. Uh, it, Reports were he kind of turned down the Louisville job, so he might be a candidate, but I don't think it goes past Will Wade or Jerome Tang. They wouldn't hmm. turn it. Like I said, Arkansas job is the top top fifteen job in the country, no question. Yeah, hmm. it's a big time job. Wes, who you, who you think if they don't get beer? Who, what do you say? I'm with JP. I don't think it goes past Will Wade. It's just going to depend on what Hunter wants, whether he wants Will Wade or Tang at that point. It's, it's going to be his decision. I mean, why would Will Box. Wade turn it down? Mm. Box? It won't get past Will Wade if Bear say no. Yep. He, he'll be crazy not to take an Arkansas job instead of McNeese State. It won't get past him. Got a super chat here. Lane New, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you. That ain't the he label. Says, Why that? not Greg McDermott as a backup coach? Hit him with the super trash. <laughs> he he just super trash. Thank you. <laughs> that was for unbiased, not me. <laughs> Thank you. He's going to retire. That would be a trash hire. He's no, going to retire? With a huge buyout. 
because he was actually rumored for the Ohio State job because they had previously wanted him before they had hired Holtman. So he just signed an extension. He's going to retire there. But Greg McDermott's a great coach, though. He's a mm. really – but he's going to stay at Creighton. He, he wouldn't be an option. So uh, okay. I'm biased. What's, what say you on the question? If, if, if Chris Beard oh, – oh, okay, so you answer it. If it's oh, not no, no. Chris uh, Beard. If, if no Chris Beard, um, I didn't answer. I'm sorry. Uh, my first person is Jerome Tang. That's that, But I like his energy, and I think – even though this year didn't go well for him, it was extenuating circumstances. He had two players that he didn't even have on his roster that he anticipated having for this year. And I think if he had both of those players, he would have been an NCAA tournament uh, coach this year. I like his energy. He, he reminds me, you know, of uh, myself a little bit uh, when I was a coach. So I, I really take a like in the tank, but that's who I would go with. Okay. So for me, I say you remind you of yourself on the basket. It's big trash. Yeah, when I was a coach, that's how I used to coach. That's how I coach. <laughs> you, <laughs> big trash. I, I, I need my buttons, man. Mar- I coach so against Marcus Candy, Richard Hamilton. I coach AAU and Biddy Ball for for five, six years. So I got it. I mean, I, I won two championships in, up here on the East Coast. So I was a pretty decent coach. Wait a minute. Wait a I minute. Mean, wait a minute. Two? I got two? faith. Two. Two. Hey. hey. Hey, G. Holmes, when you get through saying what you're going to say, OD, put that super chat up. Let everybody know about Will Wade. Which okay, one? so uh, what I got to cut. What I was, was going to say is, uh, like, I, I mean, I guess I, I kind of already said it. If we don't get Chris Beard, I, I would prefer Will Wade. Um, I just like the guy. I like his attitude. You know, he had a little bit of an edge. You know what I'm saying? He don't mind putting a duffel bag in the, you know, in a cutlass in the parking lot. You know what I mean? You need that in the coast. Bag, <laughs> he don't mind doing put a duffel bag in the trunk. You know what I'm talking about? So put a duffel bag in my car anytime. <laughs> you hear me, man? You put the duffel bag in the car, man. <laughs> Holler at your boy. <laughs> let, me, let me read my super chest, man. Old Smiles Outdoors says, Can Arkansas go after Iowa State coach? No. Why? Well, I think I think we answered that one, old smiles. It ain't gonna get past Tane. Pooty yeah, Tane. I, I, Pooty Tang. <laughs> Sepa Tide. Rent it Hey, Clint Williams says, got to set the record straight for West. Will Wade was 105 and 51 at LSU. Musk was 111 and 59 at University of Arkansas. If not for Musk, tourney success, it's a dead heat. Woo! Mm. Look at Clint mm. Williams talking. Yeah, but we did beat him three times in the same year, though. Greg, you need to look up Will's numbers because I was like, they're better than you think. Hey, hold up, JB. Hold up. (laughs) Hey, shout out, (laughs) shout out, Mama Armstrong, man. She came through, man, with the super chat, man. It's always she's just in here rocking with us. What up? Well, hey, Miss Armstrong. (laughs) Yeah, we're not gonna. Hey, Mama Armstrong. Come on, we're not gonna disrespect that super chat. (laughs) <laughs> hey, Miss Armstrong. <laughs> hey, guys, sorry to interrupt, but David Smith in the chat said Wikipedia already has Chris Beard as the head coach of the University of Arkansas. Way, Who man, went into Wikipedia? Hey, Who Google, went into it? Google, Google Chris Beard and see what pulls up. They, it's hey, already out. I mean, it's been changed everywhere. Yeah. JP yeah, sitting yeah. here telling you he didn't say it five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Monday, you're going to hear it. Hey, that's what he said. Od. Hey, I got I one thing. Real quick to the super chat, if you don't mind. Which one? Two seconds. That Clinton, Clinton was it Clinton Williams? Yeah, let me pull it he back. He said there. that is okay. He says, if not for Must Turney's success, it's a dead heat. And my question for Clinton is, what matters? Is it the regular season or is it the tournament? It's gunshots. It's, it's, oh. it's championships. Not elite Both. eights, not sweet sixteens. It's championships. That Box, what I'm, matters. I'm comparing, Neither I'm one comparing, of more. I'm comparing Will Wade and Eric Musselman. I'm just saying, what Bro, matters if in that comparison? If you didn't win it all, it don't matter. Come on, <laughs> shop it, Box. Remember, Mrs. <laughs> SEC tournament championships. You better yeah, stop, but, Box, while you behind. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm biased. If we had a one, if we had a one at SEC. Or they see tournament this year. Guess what we've been doing? We you using this year talking about the tournament. totality. Box, I'm not going to argue with you because I know the nonsense Bro, is flowing, but I want to ask you, everybody a question. Hey, if you ain't won it all, nobody curls. 
So the mm-hmm. only but we don't care because you ain't win it all, box. Now, that I matters got... is Nolan Richardson. That's the only coach that matters in the history of the Razorback basketball program. Every Based other coach boxes. is trash except Nolan. Yeah, box well, is not that right now. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we can't ignore what Eddie Sutton did either. Oh, but man, he didn't win. On. He didn't win though. He didn't Eddie win the big one. See, hey, we Boxing. we done with Eddie the nineties. Eddie Sutton. Eddie Sutton. Eddie Sutton <laughs> no, that, that's the seventies, bro. That's right. We done with them too. Seventies, old <laughs> We done with the nineties, the eighties, and the seventies. <laughs> we I got done. a question for everybody though. <laughs> I got. Is there hold any on. players on, that we currently? Hold, hold on, boys. Hey man, I need three people in the chat, man, to hit the like button. Close out the chat. Hit the like button. Just three of y'all. That's all I'm asking for right now. Hit the like button for your boys, man. And if you ain't did so, hey, make sure you make sure on your subscribe way to the channel, man. Go ahead and help man. your boys out, man. man Go ahead and subscribe, man. man. Just like that. That's man, all we want you to do. Hit that subscribe button. Man, y'all know Yo, you like what, we, what you see. We kicking it over here tonight, man. We appreciate everybody for coming in and kicking it. Hey, in. man. This, I mean, hey, we're going to let everybody in, in, too, man. This is the most live streamers we've had ever. We we set a record tonight, the, and the record right is right now eight hundred and sixty one. Yeah. It's eight hundred and sixty one people in here, and we can't get half of y'all to hit the like button. Y'all been in here for thirty minutes. <laughs> Some of y'all done had to go take a little piss and come back. They hit the did. like they button. Just remember they did though, three hundred fifty of them on the other platform. Not Let's on go. YouTube. It don't matter wherever you That's at. True. Hit the That's like true. button. That's but here's yeah. my what? question though for you guys. Let's say Chris Beard is the coach. What players, whether signed in the portal or have already yeah, or, or still currently pending, do you think we're able to keep? We only got two people on the team. No, but, that I, but that's part of it. I asked you a three part question. The, the people that signed, the people that's went into the portal, and the people that is, you know. On the team wavering. I mean, it might only be three, but then you got people that went to the portal and all that. What players do you think may stay if Chris Beard is the coach? I I have a feeling that I said earlier that Devo would return. Just a feeling. And I think Layden Blocker would return. I do. I take Mm, Blocker. I think I'm going to take Debo, too, right now, because we need the experience. Come we on have that now, much... dog. I'm going to tell you why. We got too much dummy. roster turnover. It's too much roster turnover. Even though if we if we had a regular roster and things were normal, I would be like, nah, Debo has right. been real. But we got so right. much turnover, I think I may have to entertain it. No question. Uh... Now, guys, guys, let me, let me throw this in there. Devo is a personal favorite of a certain huge... NIL donor. Wait a minute. Nothing. It does. Okay. Okay. So let me. Okay. So so wait a minute. I I I heard what you said right there, JP. But word on the streets, and you know how we get down, bro. You know how we get down. The that donor. That you talking about, and I'm going because the major donor for the basketball is J.B. Hunt. And they did not want muscle men back. They had were going to pull their NIL money for all of for everybody for the program. And it was allegedly rumored that the granddaughter was in a little fiasco with a couple of the players. Mm. And they wanted Musselman to tell them to stop. So they didn't want Musselman back because he couldn't control his players. Well, he couldn't control his granddaughter either. <laughs> so that's that's the black two sugars. And that's that's word on the streets. That's in a barbershop where you just got lined up today. You probably heard some stuff while you was over there getting lined up so crispy. You feel me? So you know that's how it go. So... I think- I think that this certain donor loves some Devo. I believe that, but not. And, but you know, but it's like this. You know what? You, we love you, but we don't want no. We don't want no grandbabies by you either. Hey, we JP, love you, JP. I but think them playing, certain uh, JP. 
I think them certain donors love Chris Beard more. We going to see. Is that donor Chris Beard, Chris, Chris Beard got the Stevens group in his back pocket. He got the relationships. He got the relationships. Chris Beard don't mean you don't, you don't have to have Debo with Chris Beard, though. Come on, Box. That point was irrelevant. Chris, hey, Chris Beard is very smart enough to know not to bring a player back that done quit two times in the season. He ain't done. We don't need it. He's seen it. We don't need it. No way I take hey, Debo back. And I got to say something. Wait, wait a minute. Mm. Melo, you be in the comments. One thing I hate is when Devo people let you talk because you be talking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I wish they put you on the leagues like they usually do because you be talking crazy in the comments. Every time they let you loose, go ahead. I'm glad I met you talk crazy. Melo, you got to get on the panel for that. You got to get on the panel for that, Melo. You I got to read my super chat, down, man. Melo. <laughs> Uh, Clint said, Wes called me out. I got to come back. He said, Wade wasn't impressive at LSU. Wade was impre- impressive in the dance. Must was. But four, four, what's that, 41? Wade is 41. Wade is 41. Yeah. I'll take him right now because his paper says winner. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. I, I don't got another you. super chat. Jeffrey Butler. He says, "Pop to the podcast, five hundred plus viewers. That's Yo, grown. We in. That's grown. We in with here. S- SKR. Scrum. Scrum. Man, this is man. This is ten o'clock at night. Man, this is eight hundred and ninety people total. Though, come on, let's get it to a thousand. Everybody join in, man. But can I say yeah, something real yeah. quick? Cause I gotta get back to work. I, I can't. I mean, oh, I've been here with you guys all night. I, I don't want to <laughs> leave, but I gotta go to the check game, man. But I just want to yes, give sir. a personal shout out because uh, I think it's Kill Ray." Because uh, he, he he does videos as well on YouTube, and I commented on his page, and I found his page, and he he said something to me that kind of touched me. I'm just a fan like y'all, but the fact that y'all view me as somebody even valuable or important or take what I say and and says it has value and meaning, it means the world to me because I'm just like y'all. I love the Razorbacks. I'm born and bred for them, and I'm always going to root for them no matter who the coach is, who the players are. So the fact that you guys support the podcast and you support me as well, I'm I'm almost at left, left for words because, you know, I love you guys. So let's march on and let's 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 show Mus why he made a mistake. And let's get Thanks. the right coach, and let's let's set it off, and let's shut it down. Woo pig suey, woo pig podcast. Must Ooh. you must? I'm sorry, but you went out like a sucker, bro. I loved you when you was here. I, I was defending <laughs> you with all these guys, but you went I out with a that. whimper, bro. You went out with a whimper, and that's just what it is. And hey, you know, Uncle. I drink to that, unbiased. You know I will, hey, bro. Unbiased, unbiased. Before you, yes, go, sir. EJ and Crawford next. Then you can now you can go. <laughs> not, he don't want a rematch. He already got sparked out. Leave it alone. Hey, man, man. The best see, y'all in the world. go talk PBC about boxing. Dude. Like we don't care about no years. boxing. This, this, I know, right? Back to this is not a boxing no. podcast. Leave. This is not. A oh, podcast. now, but you the one brought it up. But you <laughs> right. brought it up. I know, right? I can't yeah. this you guy. know what I'm <laughs> Hey, I got to I got to give a big shout out to uh, Edward Thompson. In McGee, Arkansas, at Bumper to Bumper. Yes, sir. He was he was out there kicking it with my boy, the paper player. He said, hey, man, do you uh, watch the Woo Pig podcast? Hey, he didn't know he was talking to my brother, man. Hey, we want to shout you out there, Brian. Edward Tom- Thompson, Thompson, something like that. Thompson. Shout you out, yeah, man. Yeah. We're going to show you some love, man. Thank you for being a subscriber, man. We appreciate you. Man, I also want to give a little shout out to somebody that was in the comments, man, that rock with us. Uh, his name I, I hear in the comments is James Razorbacks. And I think he changed it to 1977 or something like that. But, man, he really rocked with us, man. And he was like, man, give me a shout-out, man. You know, shout-outs don't cost nothing. So, man, we appreciate you, James, for rocking with the Woo Pig podcast, man. And it's been a good year for us, man. And we got more coming back. You you see who we got rocking with us, man. We we in here. Hey, Wes. Absolutely, man. Yes, hey, sir. Wes. What do you think about Devo commercial tonight? I haven't seen it. He did a good job. <laughs> he, he said Devo. He meant to say I mean, Deezy, but... Oh, you called Deezy Devo? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, my bad. He be having... Speaking of commercial. 
podcast family. I have one simple question for you today. Why haven't you called me? If you're trying to protect your home, your auto, your motorcycle, your boat, your side-by-side, or more importantly, your business, how do you know you're not paying too much for your insurance? Give me a call today, 870-534-2823. And lastly, continue to support the Woo Pig Podcast. Man, shout out to our sponsors, man. Ben is a good looking dude. Man, that sound a whole I lot know, better. right? I'm proud of you, Wes. I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, insurance, Max. Listen, they raised What's my that? insurance last month. I need to holler at you. Call hey, him. Hey, they hey, call him, man. Let, let me uh, shout out Miss Metcalf and Mr. Metcalf, TJ's parents. They called us today. We thank you so much. We really appreciate the call. Thank you so much. That's what's up, man. See the Woo Pig podcast is working, man. We get, man, we getting business for our for our friends and getting getting great discounts for our our, our family on online. So, man, we appreciate everybody. And uh, yo, y'all don't forget, I'm going. I'll be up on the hill tomorrow, and uh, I'm on the secure the spot because on Saturday or Friday night of this uh, that will be. April the 12th, next next Friday, we all going to be up on the hill kicking it, man, for the spring game, and we going to go out Friday night and kick it. We going to have a hey, little man. meet and greet, man. What? You know what, G? You sound like that dude who owe you $20, and every time you see him, people like, hey, I got you next week. I got you next week. You've been telling you us mean? for two months. I'm well, going to secure I, the spot. I'm, hey, I'm, bro, hey, man, I, I, I need my $20 there, I'm right going now. Up, I, I'm not going today, up not tomorrow. tomorrow. I need my $20. Tomorrow. I got, I I'm playing golf in the that. morning. I'm Bro, going well. Wait, wait I, a minute. We, we, wait a minute. We ain't talking about no golf. We've been talking about this forever. You still ain't got a spot yet. Man. Bro, that's because I ain't been up there. Let we me get my twenty dollars, man. No, no, I want to hear that next hey, week stuff. I need to know hey, that. First of all, we was going we to go to the, uh, the catfish uh, hole, but they closed too early. Y'all suckers want to go somewhere that close at nine o'clock? No, you don't. No, just get there six and it ain't gonna be no problem. It, <laughs> well, please, how about that? bro. Somebody gonna buy me a drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna buy me a drink. I'm just saying. Yeah. He's sounding old. <laughs> what drink? Oliver's a straight six p.m. to eight p.m. guy. Hey man, no, nah, nah, we, we live out here in these streets now, bro. I'm like, hey man, I'll go to sleep early, bro. I, hey man, I ain't been to bed before twelve o'clock, man, since I can't remember. Well, man, Boy, can all night long. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> look at hey JP. The guy he he got he like you know he done got got all laid down and stuff. He don't want to go to bed tonight. You finna go out. You finna go out move, shake and move, ain't you? Hey, so so JP, <laughs> let me let me ask you a question, man. Uh, hey man, you just gonna cut my question off like that? Oh uh, my bad. I didn't hear you saying that. This guy, say it again. Anyway, nah, it don't matter. Go ahead. Oh, box left. Box took it off. We're gonna put West in that spot. All right, so uh, he came back. Okay. All right, so go ahead with your question, G. No, nah, I was just talking crazy. Oh, okay. About JP getting his, he ain't going to bed tonight because he he too lined up for that. He ain't gonna sleep on that head. <laughs> so so JP man, where where can where can where can people find you, man? Tell tell us about what you do, man. Tell tell the Woo Pig family exactly like what you do, your skills. What exactly does JP do? Man, you know, I've been around the game of basketball. You know, speaking about the Razorbacks, I was a ball boy for the Razorbacks from 1988 to 1992. So I was there from Todd Day's freshman year all the way through his senior year. So I saw the Razorbacks. I sat underneath that goal when UNLV came into town in 1991. Ooh. You know, so it 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 gave me a glimpse into big time basketball at such a young age. And I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I later went on to play college basketball. I went on to coaching basketball. So I've been around the game of basketball all my life. And it's my passion. And so what I do now is I, I train basketball players and I train them all over the state. So I'm kind of in different areas different you know times of the week or whatever but you know my passion has has always been opening doors for young people 
to be able to walk through and be successful. And if that's opening through scholarships, you know, training them to be able to play at that level, it's what I've dedicated my life to do. So, you know, I'm on Rush the Court training. Uh, it's Rush underscore court. Uh, I'm on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, you know, my number is 501-580-6912. You guys can always reach out to me if you guys have any questions or anything like that. Uh, just love helping people, you know, love helping young people. And because I know what basketball did for me, you know, and, mm. and it took me all over the world. So you just kind of have a, a obligation to kind of pass it on to the next generation. You know, and then they pass it on to the next generation. You just kind of keep it going like that. So, okay. Man. Well, man, we appreciate you coming through uh, and, and dropping dimes and gems as always. People got a got a first hand glimpse of what we've been getting for for the most of the year. Uh, and man, we just uh, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir, man. We show we always show JP some love, man. He started rocking with us, man, and he was like, man, you know what? Y'all for real, man. And so he just started rocking with us, man, several months back, and it's been a great relationship, man. And hopefully we get to meet up with you. Uh, but I live here in the city, so, man, you know me, man. We're going to get out. We, I, I'm, I'm going to go over there and get that drink you talking about. You already know the scope. I'm Let's going go. to get my steak. I'm, I'm, go I'm going to get my steak. That's what I'm going to do. Fox, <laughs> I like my medium rare. <laughs> hey, I, hey. Want that, hey, I want some of that eight, eight, eight dollar drink you got. I'm, hey, going well, to I'm telling you, so what? What? Look here, box. If they announce Chris Beard as the coach on Monday, you owe him a steak, right? Now, I've been, hey, I've been paying for some folks stuff for years. I don't mind paying for his. <laughs> well, that's the, well, make sure you let me know where you go. I can tag along. I'm be the third wheel. Said, well, see now, <laughs> now you want to? It, it's his bet, not yours. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, hey, I'm a piggyback on his bet. I'll be the fourth wheel. So I know, right? I'm not far either. <laughs> you know what? I, I got all y'all covered. Come on out. Let's go. Say less. Hey well, man, shoot. Uh, shoot, man, man. I appreciate everybody for rocking with us, man. It's been a great show. Uh, yes, if sir. you haven't, hold on, let me hit this button here. If you haven't done so, man, make sure that you uh subscribe to the channel make sure that uh you have liked the content that we putting out i want to give a special thank you man to the scrolling ticker right here to the members who support us man all 43 of you guys thank you for being members of uh the whoop podcast man and supporting us on a monthly basis man uh appreciate you Absolutely. I don't thank you guys enough, man, but I had to update that today, man. But I wanted to appreciate everybody, man, for, for definitely supporting us uh, along the way, man. It's been it's been a ride, man, for the first year. You guys have made it great. Hey, we're going we gonna to run it up, man. So, hey, ride with us, baby. Uh, man, with that being said, man, hey, don't forget to hit the like button. It's, it's still four, 500 people in here. Man, how many people we got? We got 436. We got 342 likes. If you ain't did so on your way out, make sure you hit that like button. Help us run that up. G, yeah, take us home, Whatever. baby. Yes, sir. I thought you would never ask, man. Whatever platform you're on, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe. Go to our YouTube channel. And those of you that are not on YouTube, that you're live uh, with us somewhere else, go to the YouTube channel and subscribe uh, uh, to us, man. We appreciate it, man. This is what we do. It's the barbershop, man, and we just we just keep it real. We love the hogs, and we love bringing you guys this type of content. But what we really want you guys to do is to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max. These guys are your one-stop shop for home, auto, and commercial insurance, and we're talking about statewide. So don't wait. Call today for a free, no-obligation quote, and secure your future with Insurance Max. It's where protection meets affordability. You guys can call Wes, Caleb, or Sandy, and you guys can get to safeguarding what matters to you the most. That number is 870-534-2823. Again, that number is 870-534-2823. And also, you already know, man, we always going to show love to the OGs, 
That's 3M Electric. They are a trusted electrical contractor serving Northwest Arkansas. And guess what? These guys do both co commercial and residential contracting. We're talking about all over the state of Arkansas, up in Northwest Arkansas. Sometimes they go into Oklahoma and Missouri. But you guys give them a call because guess what? These guys are SDVOSB. So you might say, what is that? That is a service Disabled veteran owned small business. These guys are dependable and reliable with no job being too big or too small. So for all of your electrical needs, give 3M Electric a call. They got you. The number is 479-408-9865. Again, that number is 479-408-9865. And when you call our sponsors, hey man, you let them know that the boys over here at the Woo Pig Podcast sent you. Man, once again, man, we like to thank everybody, man. We we set some we set some records tonight, man. We had up to I don't know, was it like three hundred? I mean, eight hundred? I, I don't know. It's like almost nine hundred people. We we appreciate that, man. You guys could be doing anything else on the night like tonight, but you kicking it with your boys in the barbershop. Shout out to JP, man. We appreciate you, man, coming on. That was that was that was real cool, man. We appreciate that. You always welcome. Cause you know we kick it with you. Shout out to Box West, Unbiased, the Bad Little Brother, all of us. Od man, we appreciate everybody. But don't forget, next weekend we're gonna be up on the hill, and Od now been tripping. But I'm telling you, I'm on my way. I'm playing golf in the morning, but I'm uh, I'll be up on the hill. And when we do the show Saturday, we're gonna put it out there. We're gonna put it in the Discord. We're gonna put it everywhere, so you guys can come kick it with us. Also, August the 31st in Little Rock, Arkansas. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to be kicking it down here in Little Rock at War Memorial State, and that's going to be the first game of the year. They're going to be playing uh, UAPB, the Golden Lions. So we're going to have a tailgate set up out there, and uh, I'll, I'll try to – I'm going to find out. I know where we're going to be. We're going to be up on top of the hill by um, the – Oh, War Memorial Stadium. I mean, by by the War Memorial, by the oh, by the gym up there. We, there's a section up there where the buses pull up. That's where we're gonna be. But I'm gonna make sure I get the exact location of that, so you guys can come by and kick it with us, man. We're gonna be cooking, uh, playing music. We'll be uh, playing dominoes, playing spades, and just doing the stuff that you know family folks like to do. We're gonna be drinking a little bit too. So we're just going to be having a good time. Please come out. But I'm going to let you know right now, if you come out, we're going to be checking receipts. If you are not subscribed to our channel, man, I'm sorry. You can't be out with that kicking it with us, man. You don't support us. We ain't going to support you. So you got to support us, man. And then our house is your house. But until then, yo, ho, I said what I said, baby. Oh, oh, oh my God. And we out. Yeah. It's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Whoopin' Podcast. Woo! Shout out OD. <laughs>